Cam Lewis getting banged up. Jordan Phillips being activated off the pup list. Lots of things happening here for the Buffalo Bills. Narrowing down this middle linebacker competition for 2023. Welcome to my channel, Bills News Consolidated. We need to discuss it. All the news, all the facts that have transpired during this year's training camp. We are one week away from the first preseason game for the Buffalo Bills. After having that scrimmage practice, revealing so much more about this team. And the first thing I want to start with is actually Taylor Rapp. A lot of the Buffalo Bills insiders and reporters that were there discussing practice stated that they saw Taylor Rapp backing up Matt Milano. Matt Milano didn't play in that scrimmage game. Taylor Rapp, as mentioned in my previous video, was said to be starting in Matt Milano's position. But the more I thought about it was really, this is a dime defense for the Buffalo Bills. Last year and years past, you know, 70 to 90% of the time, the Buffalo Bills were in their nickel defense with three defensive backs on that football field. Well, with Matt Milano not being at that scrimmage due to general soreness, maybe the Buffalo Bills and Sean McDermott decided to roll out dime defense with four defensive backs on the field, which is exactly what it was. It wasn't that Taylor Rapp was backing up Matt Milano's position. I really think to start the game, Sean McDermott came out in dime against Josh Allen in this high-potent passing attack. So what does that mean? Not only are we going to see Taylor Rapp on this football field like a Swiss Army knife for Sean McDermott in this defense, but we're already seeing defensive changes by Sean McDermott in 2023. I mean, the past several seasons, the Bills were just fixed in that nickel defense. And sure enough, the first scrimmage practice that we have, Sean McDermott comes out in dime. I think that is a huge, huge sign, a huge signal for what things are going to be presented here in 2023. Now, listening to the player interviews, especially from Jordan Phillips, coming back off that pup list, talking about the depth on this defensive line and the rotation on this defensive line, asking um, and talking about other players on this defensive line, like how impressed Jordan Phillips is with Puna Ford. And jo Jordan Phillips said that he was asked to be a coach while he wasn't playing you know, our coaches wanted Jordan Phillips to, to be a coach, to be in there, to help these guys get up to speed. And hearing what Jordan Phillips has to say, even about Greg Russo, calling him a future top five defensive end in this league. And that Jordan Phillips has watched him grow, watched him um, transition into the player that he's ultimately going to be. So we hear that, right? Greg Rousseau with the potential of being a top five defensive end in the NFL paired with Von Miller and Jordan Phillips and Tim Settle and Puna Ford, Ed Oliver, Daquan Jones, right? And this entire defensive line. And one thing we have seen from Greg Rousseau is his willingness to learn. You know, his willingness to approach a Micah Parsons at that Von Miller pass rush summit. Uh, the willingness to just... Uh, pull AJ Epinesa, a teammate of his, off to the side to discuss things that they're seeing. You know, so Greg Rousseau is surely on the right track. And Jordan Phillips even said it. What, what did he have? He had eight sacks last year. You know, like how close is he to having double digit sacks? He's already better than what he was last year and he had eight sacks. So I think that's absolutely huge news for this Buffalo Bills defensive line. Now, some other pending questions here is Cam Lewis was having a great camp. Christian Benford stepped in during day nine of training camp and completely balled out, trying to reclaim his number one spot on this defensive, uh, on this defense, you know, opposite of Trey White. But Kyir Elam, Christian Benford, Trey White, Dane Jackson, you know, fighting hard, fighting extremely hard. So listening to how well Christian Benford is doing, listening to how well Kair Elam is doing on this team, how are we going to utilize these players? Dane Jackson locking things down too. So going back to Bobby Babich, and you got to keep in mind, Bobby Babich was our safety coach. And during his interview, he even said last year he kind of had to retrain his eyes. You know, being in year two as a linebacker coach for the Bills, he was with us for several seasons before that as a safety coach, as a secondary coach. So now he said he had to really retrain his eyes last year, stop looking at the secondary and start looking at 
the linebackers. And I love how detailed Bobby Babbage was. And that is really the theme for this upcoming season. I've been saying it in my previous videos. The detail. Jordan Phillips saying how detailed. He said Sean McDermott is so much more detailed than Leslie Frazier, right? The attention to detail. Adam Henry, the attention to detail is so much more than Chad Hall, our, our previous wide receiver coach, and Bobby Babbage is bringing some extra detail. I know his father was actually a linebacker coach before that, but he's bringing some extra detail to that linebacker position. In year two, as our linebacker coach, he's looking at guys, he's looking at our middle linebacker spot, trying to determine who the best middle linebacker is, and he's also looking at strategies, looking at opposing teams. He's looking at ways to exploit certain matchups. So Matt Milano, matching up Matt Milano against certain offensive linemen, um, matching Matt Milano up against certain tight ends, maybe blitzing Matt Milano on a tight end that's not good at pass blocking or whatever it is, right? And we could take advantage of those situations. Now, Bobby Babbage, I think to me, you know, I, I like that he's listening to Sean McDermott. Obviously, Sean McDermott has the final say on this thing. As defensive coordinator, he wants to find the right middle linebacker for this spot. And one thing that I think went under the radar during Bobby Babbage's press conference yesterday was the comfort. You know, being comfortable with the player that's ultimately out there. And now we had Tremaine Edmonds for five years, not really giving any light to the to the players behind him. But the experience is still there for Tyrell Dotson, right? Tyrell Dotson really stepped in last year for Tremaine Edmonds and did extremely well. So it's not only that Tyrell Dotson is comfortable being out there, Bobby Babbitt, Sean McDermott, we are comfortable having Tyrell Dotson out there because we've seen him do it, you know, and Bobby Babbage even said, you know, that's a tough task when you're out there and you're looking to your right and you see Trey White and you look behind you and you got Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, right, and you look in front of you and you see Von Miller, you don't want to mess up at the middle linebacker spot, so Who's going to be cool, calm, and collected? Who's going to exude Sean McDermott on a play-to-play -play basis? Who's going to wear that green dot properly and call the plays for this defense, line things up properly? So it's really down to two players, and they've narrowed it down to Tyrell Dotson and Terrell Bernard, both balling out of control here. Both seem to have a command of this defense. Even the players during interviews saying they can't really tell the difference as to who's calling plays back there. And really what I think is ultimately going to boil down to for this middle linebacker spot is who is going to make the most game-changing plays. Who is going to make the biggest impact on defense? Last year, the Buffalo Bills had 27 takeaways, and we also had 27 turnovers. Our turnover differential for the NFL was very poor, and I know we could definitely improve upon that, especially when you consider how well this defense should really be with all the returns of all the players on this team. And and Josh Allen even saying, like, he needs to take care of the football. He needs to do a better job in the red zone taking care of the football. And if Josh Allen can do better, if our defense can do better, our turnover differential should skyrocket for 2023. And what does that mean? More opportunities for this offense. More opportunities for Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs and Dalton Kincaid, Deontay Hardy, Khalil Shakir, Gabe Davis, and James Cook, Damian Harris, you know. And I really believe the Bills are going to be balling out of control. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe. Appreciate every single one of you. Go Bills.